Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing okay. So, the Dow was up 500 points today. Did you guys know that? I, I just literally, I, I knew it was up. I knew it was up. I knew we were up like three and change uh, at the open. And we, we kind of conformed to kind of a secondary game plan uh, at Morning Strategy. And the one thing that you guys always hear me talk about uh, especially, um, especially for all you guys on the, on the Twitter feed, private Twitter feed, like you'll hear me talk about in, in the videos about um, either a certain price, for example, if a stock is breaking out a certain level and needs to conform, uh, confirm, or uh, a dip buy into rising support. So we, we got this big gap up today, and the one thing that some of our, you know, some of my favorite plays are buying strong names that had a very, very big premium the day before. And if there is a light volume washout, okay, into a rising 60 minute support, that's a really good high probability area that if a remount off the washout confirms, the stock can start spiking back up. And the one thing that I, that I, I knew I didn't want to do today was chase prices in the morning, okay? And the, the weirdest part about today, uh, it was actually a pretty good day, okay? Uh, but it wasn't a pretty good day the way it normally is. Uh, this is the first day I think I can remember that all the value, I mean, absolutely all the value today, for the exception of one small cap stock of all things, we'll talk about that in a second, was on bounce plays, right? It was on bounce plays and very, very aggressive moves on those bounce plays. And the most amazing part, despite this really, really big gap up, we really didn't have any good confirmation pivots to the upside, like nothing, like really, really nothing. And again, you could turn around and make a case and say, well, Tesla took the life out of all these stocks. But, but again, what does Netflix have to do with Tesla? What does Apple have to do with Tesla? What does NOW and NVIDIA and, you know, and, and Alibaba and Fa like, what does that have to do with Tesla? Right? So we'll talk, talk about Tesla in, in, in a minute, right? Uh, again, there's much more other things, surprisingly, in the market you could talk about. Um, but if you look at the market from a technical point of view, and this is where, again, you really need to know where your macro view of the market is. Again, you can see strength till you're blue in the face, but if there is supply and you are the emotional buyer chasing those levels into supply, you're going to get rejected. And if you look at the technical view, right, if you look at the technical view in the market, uh, again, coronavirus, apparently nobody cares about anymore. Again, they've been the same headlines as we saw going back to last Friday, to the same headlines we are seeing today, but no, everybody slowly but surely, from the trading point of view, I'm not talking about from the health scare, again, it's obviously real, there's real lives at stake, we're talking about from, from the trading point of view, it looks like the market finally has curbed the fear, right? Curb the fear uh, is now almost mute to the headlines, and that's a bullish thing, that's a really bullish thing, but now, we're starting to get to the point of technical analysis takes over uh, where euphoria and fear kind of separate. And as you see here, the NASDAQ 100, the Qs, they hit supply. Matter of fact, they opened up at supply. And if you look at what happened, uh, if you look what happened in the Qs, right? If you look what happened in the Qs at the open, they just tanked. I mean, I mean, really pretty aggressive tank. You're talking about going from 330 to 327 in a matter of two candles. That's pretty aggressive, right? That's pretty, pretty aggressive. The one thing that I, I continuously really try to instill in everybody's brains, just because something gets rejected off supply and it looks like a turnaround, it looks like a reversal, just understand and always remember where the sentiment lies. And we are in a very, very strong bull linear market. And, and you look at the rise in support, right? If you look at the rise in support on the queues, this was my kind of my whole premise of buying strong stocks on a dip into rising support. So when you see the mirror image here, you can see how the queues held here several times and started bouncing. We started getting those same levels of aggression, right? Aggression or defense of prices on those bottom channels in the morning. And Amazon was really good. 
Netflix was really good. NVIDIA was really good. I'll, I'll show you guys. There was even a small cap stock, and it really does show you how you don't need to trade beta to trade the PS60 theory because, again, channels are channels. Whether you're trading a $3 stock or a $3,000 stock, it makes no difference. It's the execution. It's the ability to read technical analysis where emotional sellers meet technical buyers and vice versa. So if you look at today's day, it was very odd. It was actually turned out to be good. I caught uh, I caught uh, uh, Amazon for a really, really strong bounce this morning. Uh, I caught some of the video, although it wasn't, it just wasn't, I, I just couldn't get a lot of liquidity to, 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 to really hit a, a good trade on it. Was, it was fine. The trade was fine. I caught it for like a dollar and change. Uh, there was some really, really good, uh, really, really good control of the environment today. What I, what I really, really like is again, at the end of the day, it's all about being in control. But the most important thing, what I did like from the bullish coin quote point of view is that they held the bottom range. Okay. They held the bottom range. They could have easily lost it, confirmed and went lower. But again, the bullish case still remains uh, despite, right? Despite it hitting the upper channel here on the daily chart. So again, at least now we have a macro view going forward to the upside to the downside to the upside uh we have this 231 right 231 reclaiming for the bulls and to the downside or at least again I'm not, again I'm not, there's no way i'm calling for arm again i'm just calling for a downside measured potential move you have the cues here at 2685 any bill below 2685 it'll start its decline so again we have a measure potential to the upside measure potential to the downside now we got to figure out what the hell's going on uh in between and the, the most amazing part again usually what I, what I show you guys uh every night is our private twitter feed and nothing on the twitter feed confirmed today nothing because they were all uh upside bias okay they were all upside bias plays that there were no opening ranges because the queues dumped so hard at the open. What was weird about it is when you look up and I looked at, you know, after the indexes and I turn around, I go, how the hell were the diamonds, right? I go, how is the Dow up 500 points? Like, where was the money, right? Where was the money flow? And you look, you know, financials, you know, they're okay, right? They're okay. The you know, financial Citibank trying to rally. Goldman Sachs is trying to rally. Again, Apple is very strong today. A big part of the Dow, right? You got Apple up, up today, big part of the Dow. And then you have names like Microsoft, right? Microsoft, Amazon, who I would have thought would have bet a left pinky toe that this thing would have opened up at 2100 today. Didn't do it. Opened up in the 2070s, sold off a little bit. Again, the bullish state, the bullish thesis is still there because you can see, you know, right? Higher lows to go higher. But, but again, it was like weird environment. Shop that was very, very strong again. Came in Nvidia that broke out again three dollars off its highs, right? Three dollars off its highs, but closed at the highest level in this whole junction here, and it was kind of odd over and over and over again. Now again, you can make the case in point that you know what Tesla took all the air out, and again you could make that point, but I think you're wrong, right? I, I think you're wrong. Tesla is its own animal, right? Had that big 150 100 point reversal yesterday towards the end of the day. Sold off, right? Sold off today. Very, very big move. Uh, the bullish case, again, the bullish case is, well, you know, Tesla did reclaim the five-day moving average. Again, if you've been watching these videos, you kind of know the, the five-day moving average is bullish, right? Is bullish, is defending the of, of the five-day. And again, here's another case in point that you have a definitive level, right? This low here today, the 704 level, will be right the line in the sand going forward so any build below tesla below 704 well again if you believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand then you have a move coming all the way here to the 650 area which is the 10 day again don't put the cart in front of the horse but at least you have your level of reference going forward now if tesla starts building back right but starts building back over these levels here look can it get back to 800 of course it can. Okay, the range is still out of control. It's still very, very wild. I know a lot of people did very, very well on Tesla today. I know some people who didn't trade the stock, whatever the case may be. Again, remember, it's a macro universe of stocks. It's not about one stock. It's all about the, it's all about value. And for, for me today, again, I had plans of trading Tesla. And again, my morning comments were, I don't want to get caught right on the initial opening range low for them to rally, you know, Tesla and, and to, to squash them. So I wanted to trade Tesla. What I thought was going to happen was I thought they were going to sell the stock off pre-market, rally it back into supply, and somewhere around one, two o'clock have a sneaky pivot go to the downside. Because usually, very rarely see a massive sell-off in the morning. So. 
I kind of made that choice. And, you know, I watched, you know, out of the corner of the eye, Tesla going down. And somebody, you know, and somebody asked me, you know, I think it was Vic who asked me uh, in the webinar today, well, why am I, you know, why, why am I not upset about missing the trade? And, and my response to that is the, the, the market gods kind of, they have a very, they have a weird sense of humor. Okay. And I, I've accepted a long time ago, whatever you get is what you get. Okay. Some days you'll get everything. Some days you'll miss everything, but it kind of balances out at the end. It's almost like that theory is you're never as good as you think. You're never as bad as you think, like somewhere in the, mi the middle of the market gods uh, help you out. So I, I've been trading Tesla for so many years and, 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 you know, pivot after pivot after pivot. I mean, if you look back at it and say, let's say, well, you know, there's 150 points. I kind of missed a, missed a, a good bag there. Oh, okay. Okay. I, you know, after a while, you start to kind of say to yourself, you know, well, well let me see if there's better value out there, uh, safer value out there. And again, I stuck to my plan because the last thing I wanted to do is short it in the morning, get squeezed out and watch a dump later in the afternoon. Again, does it, does it suck? Yeah, you know, I guess. I, I guess it does, but it really doesn't bother me because, again, there was some pretty good value today uh, on the balance plays. Caught some good trades this morning. Uh, and, again, it is what it is. My time, again, my time with, with different stocks will come, and whatever it's meant to be is meant to be. So let's talk about the day. Um, so Amazon, uh, Amazon, I, I was literally in Amazon and NVIDIA at the same time. Uh, literally at the same time. So uh, we talked about it this morning. You know, Amazon was incredibly strong yesterday. And again, like I said, I, I like buying stocks into rising support. Here was your rising support in the morning. Uh, I got long right here, uh, 2048, uh, 49, excuse me, 2049. Uh, my highest sale was uh, 2060. So I caught it about for about 11 11 and change, right? About 11 and change, I caught it for the trade. I was very happy with it. NVIDIA, unfortunately, I didn't get any liquidity at all. Uh, I, I, I did the remount right here. Here's the, here's the initial uh, morning uh, morning uh, rising support. I did the remount uh, off the 240, 249.80s, and it went to like 251 and change. You know, I sold it, but I just didn't get enough size for, for really to matter. Um, here, here's, a, here's an amazing part. And again, this is where my point is. Uh, here's where my point is that you don't need um, you don't need to trade a very very specific very very specific stock it's all about process so here is a perfect example uh, VVUS uh, real first pullback into rising support again the whole strong stocks into rising support 360 the buyers reclaiming bill they could squeeze back and if, if you look at Vivas okay if you look at Vivas you know, here was the rise in support here to 360 and it, it exploded. This thing went to 415. Ironically, there was a, a pretty good pivot on a small cap stock. I forgot the symbol uh, of it. Um, I'll tell you right now. Uh, yeah, CYC. And I said, hey, you know, for, for all you small cap lovers, um, you can see, you know, you can see how high the stock went. For all you small cap lovers, 405 build on the daily chart sends it higher. It went, went to like 440, 450, uh, big move there. Again, so very unorthodox, right? Very unorthodox uh, type of day. Uh, I did a couple of other bounces. Uh, oh, Netflix was was a big, big move. Again, I didn't I didn't catch the Netflix trade because I was in NVIDIA and Amazon at the same time. But we, we talked about this area here, and it was right over here. You can see yesterday bounced right off the same area. Uh, we talked about, the, for all you guys who did catch a great job, this was put up a $4 candle, very, very big before obviously it started selling off. So the balance plays were good. The only two balance plays that didn't work, um, I got long SDC, right? I got long SDC, you see this flash crash here? I was in this flash crash, right? I got it, I got long right here. I, got, I literally got long right here. And in a second, it went down like 50 cents. I'm talking about in a second. And then three seconds later or a minute later, it went back. I was actually green in the trade. Uh, and I wound up breaking even. So this was something really, really odd. Um, they must have ran stops, whatever the case may be. But uh, fortunate enough, it just you can see it on the five-minute chart much easier. You see this right here? So I got long here, right? I got long right here. And it was – and then like really a couple of minutes later, they just brought it right back. So – I got very, very lucky, and the, so I got broke even on that. And uh, COTY was very weird that it didn't bounce. Um, so I got long. Where did I get long? Uh, I got long at twelve. I got long at twelve right here. So I got long right here, um, and it just didn't bounce. It just didn't didn't bounce. I only wound up losing about six, seven cents. But 
Uh, it was very weird that it didn't bounce, and then later it kind of it kind of went up. So it was very very weird. So kind of a weird day. Uh, I was happy about uh, I was happy about Amazon more than any, anything else. Um, again, I, I think this business that the mindset of this business is very simple. Um, again, we're not greedy pigs. You know, we're not looking to to get the move on everything. And you know, it, you got to use the business approach. You got to use an adult approach. That again, we're trying to take bits and pieces of moves. Uh, we're trying to get as much meat as possible. Again, if you were fortunate enough and uh, made money on Tesla today, congratulations. Again, I, I just didn't participate. I wanted to. It just wasn't. I made an adult decision. I have to live with it that I just didn't want to trade that morning interval to get squeezed out only to watch it come back later. So unfortunately, again, it wasn't meant to be for me. I'll take what I have. I'm appreciative of what I have. I'm very humble that I got what I got. And tomorrow morning is a new day. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas. Uh, let me guys um, give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Uh, some non-beta names that I, I like. I actually do like this SDC. Maybe it finally wakes up tomorrow. Uh, you can see it, it put up a double top here, right? Double top here in this 14... Uh, 1488 level. If this thing could just reclaim the 1490, $15 area, I think it goes uh, CEIX coming right off the bottom, coming off the bottom with big volume. Keep an eye on this thing. If this thing starts reclaiming, you know, 1060 tomorrow, maybe this thing goes higher as well. Uh, IBTX, I'm not really familiar with this name, but does it really make a difference? Um, first close today over the 50 day moving average. If tomorrow, you know, stock close at 56. 65. Uh, you can get long this thing at 57 tomorrow. Close at 56.65. You can have a 35 cent risk with a possible dollar, you know, dollar initial move. Maybe if you swing in the stock and go back to the high, so that looks good as well. Uh, again, guys, please get to morning strategy early tomorrow. Uh, we will discuss all the pivots, right? We'll discuss all uh, the beta pivots. Uh, Roku, Beyond, uh, Netflix, even Tesla, even Tesla. Uh, hopefully, a lot of retail got out of the way today okay uh and the stock can start the stock can start trading a lot more uh aggressively when i, I say that in a weird way but the liquidity aspect uh wouldn't be bad either all right guys so everybody have a great night everybody god bless and i'll see you all tomorrow congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.